food, water, energy, equity, and peace. These are the foundations of a sustainable and prosperous future. They also depend, very directly, on our natural environment. The richness of our ecosystems, species and genetic material acts as a global insurance policy against famine and disease. But this insurance policy will expire if we don't act urgently to protect our planet. So how can we be sure that decisions taken today won't accidentally damage our well-being and that of future generations? The key is to move away from piecemeal decision-making. Instead of reacting only after damage has been done, the best available science, knowledge and data should be used to anticipate change, such as the impacts of species and habitat loss, climate change and invasive alien species. We need proactive policies to avoid undesirable change and to reduce the negative impacts of change. In 2016, the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, launched its assessment report on scenarios and models of biodiversity and ecosystem services to help all decision makers to better use these tools when choosing policies and actions. Developed by more than 80 experts worldwide and drawing on over 3,000 scientific sources, the report is the result of two years of intensive work. The IPBES assessment aims to give policy makers a more complete understanding of how people and nature interact and how policy and management decisions made today might affect these interactions in the future. The IPBES assessment defines scenarios as possible futures for drivers of change in nature and as options to alter these through policy and management interventions. Models are descriptions of key parts of a system and of the relationships between those parts. Models can be used to explore how changes in indirect drivers can impact direct drivers of change in nature, how changes in direct drivers impact nature, and how changes in nature affect nature's contributions to people. Models, used together with scenarios, can be used to explore potential changes in nature, contributing significantly to all phases of the policy cycle. However, in order to be effectively applied, they require the close involvement of policymakers, practitioners, and stakeholders, such as holders of indigenous and local knowledge, throughout the entire process. With proper planning, investment, and capacity building, many of the challenges in developing and applying scenarios and models can be overcome. The IBES assessment is already being used around the world to guide and support a range of key initiatives. It stimulates and underpins collaborative efforts across the scientific community, addressing key gaps in the scope and availability of scenarios and models for all other IBES assessments. The IBES Scenarios and Models Assessment is an ambitious global effort to better understand and use scientific information about biodiversity and ecosystem services. With the help of scenarios and models, Decision makers can better plan for the future we want. The IPBES assessment is an invaluable resource, not only for experts within IPBES, but also for governments, businesses, and communities worldwide. To find out more, visit the IPBES website. IPBES, science and policy for people and nature.